around before it's come and gone. Getting close to a loss, spend a lot of time. See the condition of my heart like a sonogram. Uh. Everybody knows we got to fast. But does everybody know how the time has passed? Is it sleeping all day and the night's a blast? And forgetting the reward of the month is fast. I know you're gonna wake up right. You can wonder maybe me and Pop praying at sunrise fast in the day. Keeping that deep. To see you smile. Ramadan is the best month of the year. It's a time to play catcher and just brush up on things that I've missed out on throughout the year. It's a month of mercy, making dua, asking for forgiveness and repentance. It's amazing. You get these amazing feelings and you just don't want to let go and then you can't wait till next Ramadan and you just do everything you can and it's amazing. Amazing, amazing. It gives me an opportunity to start afresh and um, be able to get to the roots of how I really am and try to improve myself knowing that shaitans or the major shaitans have gone and what I am now is actually me. You just feel very peaceful, you feel at home with all your friends. I had time to kind of detox emotionally physically and spiritually. So for me Ramadan is a time to really recharge and get my faith going again and hopefully pick up on the good habits that have slipped during the course of the year. It's a time for me to get closer to God and also bring my family and friends together. It's also a time for me to think about the past year and ask for forgiveness. It means a time to refuel, a time to jump back on the bandwagon of being at the highest of my Iman and trying to be the best for the next year to come. Just going the extra mile in everything that we do, religious-wise, like, so you just read more Quran, you pray more, make more dua. It's just time to spend time with the family. When I was going out and studying, going to tutorials, it's time just to relax, and it's humbles you as well. It's a time to really think about what you want in life, and to focus on making dua for all those things that you really, really want. It's like a training ground for the, all the 11 months of the year. So I'm trying to focus on my spirituality and um, grow closer to my creator. A time when there's like um, a sale on. So you can cash in and get as much hasanat as you can. And um, you kind of put the, the dunya things on pause. It's a month to get Back to Allah, like in throughout the year you get further and further away from Allah and Ramadan is there to bring you back to Allah. Step where you can just take a break from your life and evaluate where you basically evaluate your whole year. Kind of sort myself out between myself and sort myself out between my God so that everything else in my life can be sorted out uh, because I've got my foundations right. To see you smile. When it's like coming towards like midnight sort of time, um, of course if I'm awake, and I I just sit there and I just literally speak to Allah like, he's my friend, like, I, I'm the only one, you're the only one that I have in my difficult times, in my times when everything's going well, it's you that I have. I just try and make more and more da as I go along, da during the day. So reading the Quran and just remembering to pray five times a day on time. Carry Allah with me wherever I go, if that makes sense. So for example, doing tasbih in between, you know, moments. I do tasbih, subhanAllah, alhamdulillah, la ilaha illallah, Allah Have very personal um, praying time and da time, especially in the night on your own uh, having that intention if i think consciously um right i want to get closer to allah now i really need to try and get closer um try to surround myself with things i like things i want to be better at reading the quran learning arabic learning about my religion and the entire history of my religion and how i can input that into my life um praying to Allah, i find that really like because everybody's doing it together in the mosque it's like a really nice feeling and everything. To see you smile. I'm only doing it for him. So I'm not doing it for anyone else. And no one can actually check whether I'm fasting or not. So it's strictly something that is between um, your creator. To see you smile. Fried chicken. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> There's so much to choose from. My mum's awama. They're like little... Um, light dumplings that you fry and then you coat them in syrup and they're awesome. I like to eat, you know kubba? Um, it's like filled with like 
meat and stuff. It's quite nice. My favourite iftar so far has been my salmon fish. <laughs> a burger. Every time for iftar. If I had a burger, honestly, you know the Zaytun burgers and you just get in there and you just have it and it goes down your arms. A glass with like four ice cubes in and then cold Pepsi and you just drink it and then after that you have like dates with cream. Oh, it's beautiful. Just some sort of healthy vegetable soup, I guess. <laughs> Rice and curry from the mosque. To see you smile. If you don't want fasting breath, buy quarter door mouthwash. It works all day. Your tongue will sting all day, but it works. Not a single smell in my mouth. I know that I don't deserve you. Every song I sing's always been for you. Give it all away. Well, I want another question. To see you smile. To see you smile. To see you smile. Give it all away. To see you smile. To see you smile. To see you smile. Give it all. for guessing what was your favorite thing to eat for dessert not cake <laughs> what i don't actually like my own cakes by the mm -hmm. way i only like my mum's cakes that may come as a surprise i don't really like cake but my favorite thing would probably be ice cream <laughs> okay great okay serious question and you are allowed to smile whilst you're okay. answering serious okay, okay but can we look at the camera so they can see us they could be entertained with our faces okay so my mum calls oh, me a camel because i never get thirsty and i don't drink a lot so yeah. <laughs> Hello, of the football team. I don't know. Just kept running away from the ball. To see you smile. Give it all away. To see you smile. 